Hey, what is up you guys? Welcome and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Lindsay and I have a three-year-old son named Lennox. Um, we do have the whole family here today. So if you see or hear my son, that is why. But today I'm going to jump in and get started. I am going to do a forward-facing installation of the Britax Boulevard Click Type. And it is super easy to do, which is why I purchased this car seat. So it will only take a few seconds and I am going to jump in and get started. So. First things first, you want to open this up and sometimes you do need to put a little pressure here in order to lift it. Once it's lifted, you will see that the green arrow has a forward facing belt path and then the blue arrow is a rear facing belt path. So for the purpose of this video, we are going to follow the belt path of the green arrow. I am going to thread the belt folded. So we're gonna bring all of it in half. You wanna make sure it's straight. So I'm gonna thread it on both sides here. And I just wanna make sure there's no creases. And then loop it down in here. Okay. Now I'm gonna just tighten the seatbelt a little bit, but you really don't have to do it much. Um, I wanna mention if you want to recline, incline the seat however you like, you wanna do that prior to installation. Once it's installed, it's hard to do because of the tether in the back, which I'm gonna show you in a minute, but you'll, um, you can adjust the seat right here at the bottom. All right, now I am going to push down here and you will hear this button up here click. Once it's installed, correctly it will make a click tight sound which is why it's called boulevard click tight um, now you need to put in a lot of strength as you can see I personally cannot do it with just my hands so I'm gonna push my knee in here and then you'll hear the clicking noise like this all right so now you want to do the left to right test you want to make sure it doesn't move um, left to right more than an inch and also front and backwards more than an inch which it doesn't all right so once you have it installed correctly you want to do the check down here you want to check the lever to make sure it's within this green area that says forward facing that way you know it is installed correctly and as you can see the little black ball is within the green area so we are good to go now we're going to go ahead and do the last part here which is the tether so I'll meet you guys in the trunk. All right, now I'm gonna head to the trunk and I will show you how to tether the car seat in the back. So you can adjust the belt to your desire um, when you go to do the tether. You wanna make sure it is in the shape of a V. So that's how the proper way to do it is. And then I'm just gonna take this hook here And I'm gonna just hook it like that. And then I'll go ahead and pull the belt so that it is very secure and tight. As you can see, I still have the V. I just have to thread this through a little bit. There we go. And now it is extremely secure. So this is on really, really tight. And then there's no way the seat can fly forward if you were to get into an accident. Installing forward facing the Britax Boulevard click tight is as simple as that. I have also done a rear facing video that I will link down below and I have done a review on this car seat. So if you are in the market for purchasing one, I will leave a link below so you can check it out. If you enjoyed today's video and want to see more like it in the future, please give this video a big thumbs up, subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye guys.